Yesterday, I had the pleasure of rewatching the movie nineteen eighty four. The nineteen fifty six version of George Orwell, and I try to look at it from the point of view where we are today. What I noticed, what most people never discuss, is the destruction of love that is being mentioned. Also, the elimination of sexuality and all genders. Additionally, there is literally no individuality allowed. And personally, I believe that we already live in this type of society that is operating on this level. The main character perfectly illustrates the despair and frustration due to an enormous lack of freedom and privacy and no individual thought. What Orwell, I think, also described was a large amount of agents that were secretly surrounding all these people and controlling them. The fear of being watched and followed is another aspect of this movie and the paranoia because there's always a spy lingering around the corner. Do some of you notice something here? So while the regime, so-called Big Brother, is always watching you, the eye symbol is very significant in this movie which is literally the all-seeing eye connected to the Illumi <laughs> Nati. There is absolutely no way and possibility to escape or find personal space. It is quite funny how the little girl Selina resembles Greta Thunberg <laughs> and her aggressive speech and attitude towards Winston. So it has become a society where citizens get promoted for sneaking each other out, just like in Stasi, Germany. And even children take part in that game. The little girl Selina practices how to expose traitors and literally sounds like Hitler. When Winston meets Julia, he first believes she might be a spy until she hands him a love note. While they are sitting in the cafe and eating, you can overhear some voices discussing how they already destroyed the family system and now they will have to eliminate the concept of love between a man and a woman. So it is obviously part of the new world. Because people who love cannot be controlled. When the two main characters connect, you can see their lives coming back to them, especially to their eyes. So this is quite good acting and the movie is worth watching. There is some kind of power and intelligence that sets in so they are able to make a space for themselves and find possibilities to escape the destruction of their personal privacy. It is like it awakens their ability to fight back and regain individual confidence in themselves. It is true that the archetype of the gender role is always supported by a partner of the opposite sex. It is as if your natural instincts are being awakened. So the woman becomes the archetype of regaining masculinity and being able to rebel and revolt. As a couple, they both feel invincible. Julia regains her instinct of wanting to procreate and having a baby, which had been erased from her psychology through brainwashing. They connect to a secret party who seems to oppose the system. Unfortunately, they are being caught and sent into a program which aims to re-establish the obedience to the system big brother because winston refuses to see five fingers when 
The controller is holding up a hand, hiding his thumb. He's being electrocuted until finally they send him into a mind control program, which uses his darkest traumas to brainwash and butcher his senses. As the establishment doesn't allow any truth over their own truth. Trauma-based mind C which I assume is also heavily being used on citizens today, especially online, but also via spies who could infiltrate your life and, you know, try to get into your head. When they have been released from the brainwashing program, both look rather lifeless and robotic. They both think they have betrayed each other, while this might be a part of the brainwashing. It's like the other person was erased from their mind. Similar things are indeed possible today by even creating fake betrayals between partners, especially online. Most people don't seem to be aware how advanced artificial intelligence is and how, if programmed, it could send certain pictures or videos that are falsely created uh, to a partner of someone and the, the other person could believe that you betrayed them. Additionally, it could set up profiles of people that don't even exist to traumatize you using your deepest fears and a psychological profile which AI has created of you. Trauma-based mind C to establish an amount of hate or a disgust towards the other gender after having experienced a certain amount of distress with your own personal triggers. It is very dangerous if a group of people knows everything about you and everything about your personal fears or triggers and you know nothing about them. And AI knows everything about you. I believe that this has started around 2009, 2010. The collecting of personal data and information. So collecting your personal information has started right away with the establishing of the internet. In fact, this is what it was always supposed to be for. It could also delete conversations. So you assume somebody has ghosted you when in fact AI created a scenario. If AI believes someone is too good for you because it has been programmed to change your social class, it will send this person fake Google search engine information about you to create a false idea. The main goal might be after a person has been isolated for so long, they will give in to whatever and apostrophes they can get. People of a lower social class or who have a background of being abusive or dangerous and they might be connected to you on purpose to degrade you or traumatize you because you're not a good citizen. Additionally, while individual targeting is definitely possible through AI, it is happening on a much greater scale on the entire population. An example are dating apps who focus merely on the appearance and only letting space for very little individual expression and overall information or depth. This is why dating feels so exhausting to many these days, because you're dating on such a superficial level. So people are being primed to become superficial and narcissistic, while meaningful relationships never happen on this level and with Today's dating apps, a meaningful relationship is literally impossible. I know it happens, but it's probably one in a million because they operate on a fast food system where you basically treat human beings like McDonald's meals, not like a gourmet dinner, not memorable, just discardable and forgettable. 
which then again leads to a focus on sexuality, one night stands, deprivation and primitive values. It was interesting to watch how movies in the 40s treated large age gap relationships and usually disliked them, disapproved of them, while today in most modern movies the age gap between men and women is always at least 10 years and it's always the younger women most of the time 99 percent of the time younger women with a much older man which also has been scientifically proven to lead to unsatisfactory relationships the best and longest relationships usually have not more than a seven year age gap between them and then you have pornography and all sorts of other degradation like cam girl apps those are heavily pushed on all men today which distorts the idea of what a woman truly is about and how a connection truly works. A lot of girls from today's generation don't want to marry and 63% of males under the age of 30 are single and alone. The promotion of masturbation leads to a decrease of testosterone in males which in return lowers their ability to feel love towards a woman. What many don't understand is that an intact testosterone level is connected to how a man loves and bonds with a woman. After the man ejaculates, he often finds himself confused about his feeling towards a woman because his testosterone levels have decreased. Therefore, he often feels a need to detach and re-establish his testosterone which was usually being done by male activities like hunting you know going out for success in the world in the past which can be detrimental outside of marriage because sometimes these men disappear or choose to be in a different relationship and the woman doesn't know what has happened to him so this is where a marriage protects a woman from trauma and pain and being left out in the cold it has also been scientifically proven that the more options a man has regarding female company the less likely he's going to marry one or stay in a relationship with one specific woman even if the amount of options is entirely fake this illusion of options is being created via Instagram models, cam girls, a lot of other type of girls that linger in certain establishments, strip clubs and so on. And if you would really know some of you girls, how many of these options are daily being presented to most men? I think you can't see it because a lot of it is connected to the internet, to the screen the man is watching on a daily basis, and to AI. You could say that the game that usually intelligence agents used to play in the past to change people's minds or lives, to infiltrate people's personal privacy, this type of game is what AI is playing on people nowadays, only that its opportunities are way more advanced than any intelligence agent could ever have. The use of dark personal trauma is one of the most horrible aspects of the whole scenario because it has also been proven that people can be brought to do literally anything when trauma is being used due to the hypnosis effect and the programming that occurs. The last aspect I want to mention is that men today literally have almost no rights after divorce in court and this is not by coincidence. I think this has been definitely established on purpose and it's not just harming the man because 
it's harming the entire population. This part is always being mentioned in Hollywood movies, you know, how the bad wife took all the possessions of the husband after divorce. Just watch a few Netflix movies if you have time and you will hear it in at least one of these movies. So another brainwashing aspect of it. This is being mentioned to men over and over and over again, so they will not forget about it. And then you have the wonderful Mechtau community, which is just similar to feminism, you know, it has been financed by certain families. It's so obvious. If you don't notice it, I mean, I can't help you. The problem, the real problem of Mechtau guys is that they have ejaculated, masturbated to so many women out of their league, women that they probably cannot have in real life and the anger because of their focus and their fixation on these type of women become so horrendous and they reject women that are actually closer to their own personal so-called league you know in age in appearance in social status these things do matter actually when you bond with someone but this purposefully fabricated frustration of these men leads to staying alone and just re-watching more of these women going to websites where they pay or basically paying for physical intimacy and always complaining about how women are evil and bad while the point is that they mostly focus on superficial values which they have been programmed and you know primed to do over many years before that so it's really a rat race because additionally a lot of these women or many women then feel men are superficial and only focus on sexuality which is actually not really the truth it is the truth that has been established today but it is not how it has been like let's say 40 years ago men also seek a loving personal bond unfortunately unfortunately they don't understand what has been done to them and they blame women and their hate is often targeting the wrong women who have done nothing to them, which is additionally dangerous because it can traumatize girls or women who never did anything wrong. You just need to be aware that this is going on. Don't blame yourself for things that might have been happening in the past. Be aware that if you are a very outspoken person, <laughs> the percentage of possibility is very high that artificial intelligence is targeting. My last hint, it's obvious that there's a promotion of mixing genders. So artificial intelligence could also try to do that by not allowing you to date certain races and you will feel oh only this per these type of people are interested in me and you will just give in after you have been desperate because a lot of women are actually desperate you might not understand that this is being done and you might give in and i would mm, i would give you advice to overthink it i mean just you know set your standards high don't fall for trickery of the system and find your own establish your own ways how to you know overcome the manipulation of this so-called intelligence because it can only be as smart as the people who have programmed it so don't let it make you superficial focusing only on appearances or values that don't really matter. Also, don't let it trick you into dating people beneath you and do a background check on those that you might have met online. Just my hint, my tip for you. And <laughs> If you want to add a comment, uh, feel free to do so. Please subscribe and like 
and i love you take care bye bye i just forgot about something as always i want to make a last statement i will will make a separate video on that the over sexualization of women is something that is also adding to this whole destruction of love it creates a certain disgust of course in men if women had too many sexual partners but unfortunately the truth is and most men don't like to hear this both genders are less likely to bond to others and to love if they had too many sexual partners and this is really actually it starts after three or four partners so it's not like that you have to have a large amount it's unfortunately what has been done to humanity on purpose personally i believe something has been done to women either some sort of form of hypnosis over several years but i think it's both and some kind of genetic manipulation probably hormonal like an increase of testosterone you know by adding something to the food that's just what i believe because i see that a lot of women are way too interested in sexuality than it was in the past and it's somehow not normal. I can understand that men find it, you know, some men find it, um, a lot of men actually, they, you know, they take advantage of it and the much wealthier men actually enjoy it. But I believe that it can also feel frustrating to men who actually seek a very loving, deep relationship, not polyga polygamy or whatever it is, <laughs> nonsense. So stop blaming others, take your wisdom and use it to your benefit and make something out of it. <sighs> so bye bye, <laughs> take care and thank you for listening. I hope you could get something out of it. See you soon, speak to you soon, bye. You're sick of my madness Don't you tell me what I'm supposed to do You're better off without me don't you tell me what I supposed to do When I'm walking on the streets half naked It's part of me, it's part of me When I'm making my brain make up It's part of me, it's part of me When you're crushing all my dreams and you're making me so fool Get out of my life I know what I I know what I'm supposed to do When you're crushing all my dreams and you're making me so fool